Hi, welcome, Simon here. Hope you guys are doing well. In this video, I'll be replacing the motherboard. And here is the brand new Gigabit Z690. And the motherboard, I think there was a power outage, shorted out the, uh, the motherboard. Kind of have a little bit of a burn smell. And let's go ahead and get started, change it out and see if it turns on. One thing I do not like about this mid-sized tower, first of all, all the equipments are on a larger side, like the graphics card is big, it has a water cooling system, there's the, uh, um, you know, the, uh, the water cooling, the reservoir. Yeah, it's just too compact, the, and the uh, power supply is on the top here. So if you guys are going with the um, heavy equipment like the graphics card or the water cooling system, I recommend to get like at least a full size desktop case rather than a, a, a mid size. It just makes things easier to work with and you get a better airflow in the system rather than having all this compact stuff in here. That's my just personal opinion on this. So here I'll be removing the CPU, the RAM, the graphics card, and transfer over to the other motherboard. So things are a lot tight to work with. So therefore, you might see me not being uh, very patient with things to move things around. That's because I do not have room to work with, so I'll probably not gentle when I come to things like that, okay? It looks like the CPU has a lot of uh, moisture on it, like a water here. Not sure what that is, but I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but definitely has a lot of uh, focus. moisture onto the CPU right at this part here these are the thermal paste I can see that but right around this line here it's just moist so I'm gonna water in there all right I'll, let's see I'll sit it here on the side making sure things are okay close it down Gonna remove the RAM already. There's no idea why this thing is installed because this metal bracket is supposed to be holding down the uh, um, the GPU, but it's not. See, there's a gap in between. It is not holding anything. The GPU can just move. Useless, useless. And there's also, I noticed that the uh, graphics card and I also noticed that the graphics card, the back, you're supposed to peel this thing off as the, the peel stuff. This plastic here is supposed to be peel, peel the thing off, but it's not peeled. It is still in a position. Yep. Oh well, it's not my problem. Move on. Okay. Why there's only one switch light? There's nothing else in there. Not 100% sure whoever built this. Okay, so let's remove some of the screws.
There's some motherboard screws. I wonder if there's a M.2 here. It looks like there is an M.2. It's being stick onto the heatsink. One terabyte. So this guy is an idiot. I th there is a zip tie. It tie onto the bracket of the CPU. Oh god. Please do not just zip tie into things that is not relevant. So that guy, look right here. It go. We went ahead and zip tie the bracket of this this thing here. So so hard for me to remove it. Um, but yeah. Anyway, just drop it on the ground. So this is the new motherboard. We do need to have the bracket underneath. Okay, the motherboard is in. Let's grab a screwdriver and put some of the screws in there, holding down the motherboard. Try not to tighten it all the way in. I just wanted to make sure that it aligns, have every side of the corner is all aligned properly before I tighten it up. So, Okay, things are looking good on this side.
Here comes the heat sink. Remove that. Let me see if I need to remove the bottom part. It does seem like I have to remove the bottom part. That little plastic here, peeled it off. Before I put in that heat sink, let's go ahead and put the screws in. That screw is supposed to put it right in the middle. Slide this thing in and then close it down. Technically, it was supposed to put a screw here to lock it, but there wasn't any screw to begin with. Hopefully, this one is going to work. Okay, remove the bracket here so that we can sit on the CPU. Let's apply some of the thermal paste. The best is to spread it around before you close it, but I'm just going to do it without spreading it. Okay, I seems to be not able to uh, screw it in because the bracket is falling down to the other side of it. I technically have to use my hand to push it on the other side. But why is this um, bracket it's not in quite in a position? Oh well, this is the problem.
I need to open up on the other side of the uh, the case and screw in the So now I can put the uh, heat sink in, the water clean by pressing it down on one on the other side of the, the computer. Oh, here comes the graphics card. <clears throat> Such a tiny space to work with. Okay, that should be it. And I will power up the computer and finish up the Windows installation. Hopefully I don't have to because with the same motherboard, about the same motherboard, the uh, the driver should be able to pick up without any blue screen. So hopefully that is the case for this. Then I don't have to uh, reinstall the Windows. Um, I guess everything is installed, the RAM stuff yep that should be it and I'll peel off the uh, plastic in just a second this this little plastic should be peeled off okay that should be it all right thanks for watching bye now